Hi, I'm Adrian from LMCT Plus, and today I've got Zach from Zero Gauge Customs, and we're going to give you a quick walkthrough of what we've done on these two cars. Zach, we'll start with the Jimny. Yep. So we'll start from the front back. We've got our armor front bar, retains the factory sort of look with a bit of extra protection, custom grille, custom lights, and um, then we'll move on to the lift. We've got a Profender 2.0, just a two inch lift, keep it all legal. Um, and that's an eight stage remote res adjustable. Uh, I've got that sitting on 235-70-15, uh, Maxi's big horns, sitting on some uh, 15 by eight king wheels. Uh, we've got a rhino, rhino rack on the top. There's not a lot of storage in these things, so chuck that up there for a bit of extra storage. Um, interior, all custom interior. So interior, we just did the black. We, we did we did matching interior between the two cars. So we've got the black with white stitching with the logo as well. We've added some uh, heated seats as well. We've done the front and back on this one. And then we'll move on to the back. What have we got, Zach? Yeah, and we've just got the hammer rear bar. A bit of added protection. If whoever whoever's fortunate enough to win this heads out the bush, you get hung up on something. These are quite low, so you're not gonna you're not gonna stuff anything body wise. A bit of protection there. It's also integrated tow bar, so if you want to tow a tinny or something small, things these things are good for towing though. Uh, <laughs> maybe a jet ski. <laughs> and we got the yeah, and then just spare wheel. Spare wheel. Retain the factory position position in the back. All right, that's we'll, about it. That's about it. And we'll get on to the big boy. We've got the, the 79 series. So these both these cars we picked up brand new. Uh, this has about 250 kilometers on the clock. Yeah. And this one's got what, 350, yeah, 400? Like yeah, so they're both under a thousand kilometers. Brand new, we picked them up from Toyota in Werribee. So shout out for them. And we'll move on to this thing. So Zach, you wanna? Yeah, so it's, it's probably the same sort of thing, front to back. Oh. Uh, we've got the ARB big tube bar with the side rails and steps. Uh, color coded and white. Looks a lot better than just standard powder. Uh, we've got the X-ray vision dual switching lights. These are these are new from X-Ray. Great light. Um, underneath the carbon, the limited edition 12k winch. Oh, looks quite good in there. Uh, fat snorkel. Uh, there's a fat airbox in there as well. Let's it breathe a lot better than the factory um, factory top hat. Also now it's fully sealed. No no water get it in if whoever gets it ends up across a, across a river or something like that. Uh, underneath the front we've got the Iron Man Foam Cell Pros. Uh, the J-Max radius arms to suit the four inch lift. Uh, and the front springs also got them powder coated white to match up the car. Looks quite nice with it all. So we've got the grid load rated wheels. So this car's had a GVM upgrade. We put load rated wheels on it so we have no issues down the track. Uh, they're sitting on the Mickey Thompson MTZs. Fantastic. Then we'll, we'll, uh, we'll jump, oh we've got the mirrors. We did the mirror upgrade. Yep. So the factory cruiser mirrors are pretty, how you going? So we've added some MSA towing mirrors. They sit quite nice, not not real big, doesn't stick out too much. Roof rack. Uh, yeah, yeah. Got the Rhino Pioneer platform uh, on the canopy and on the on the ute. Heaps of extra storage. Interior has been our biggest transformation of this whole car. Uh, as everyone knows, the 79 series is pretty basic on the inside. has been hasn't changed for the last decade. So our main goal was to transform this and show you know show everyone what these interiors are really capable of. Thanks to In Charge Automotive um, for helping us with this. So we'll start with the seats. We had a conversion. We put GTP Ford seats in this with the rails. Um, that's been all modified. We had the dash all finished in black, uh, suede on the dash. Black carpets, because as we know, there's no carpets in these things. Black headlining, black sun visors. We blacked out the whole interior. We've also um, created this center console section. As you know, the gear stick hits the floor. It's you know not the most appealing thing. So we've built this out, some cup holders. We've added a fridge in the center console. We've also added this Alpine head unit, nine inch off-road head unit. Um, and we've got the steering wheel upgrade as well. Electronic steering wheel with the, the from PBS. And that's got the digital readings on the steering along the top as well, which is pretty cool. Uh, we've also uh, created, we've upgraded all the sound system. So we've added uh, door speakers. Uh, they're focal, thanks to GL Pro for doing all that for us. We've got uh, the focal 
amplifier and we've got the subwoofer as well so this the sound in this is really good we also sound deadened all the doors um, so yeah it's really good in that aspect as well moving on to the rear same thing we've got the speakers in the doors that we've created and we've got a big fridge for the back for all your off-roading adventures um, yeah so this thing's built for going off-road and, and creating new memories with so let's keep going on the rear so coming onto the rear of the car it's had some big upgrades as well Zach you want to tell us a bit about it yeah so we've got the um the J Max core conversion in the rear uh, so the Leafs are no more no more rough ride uh, we've also got and obviously the GVM upgrade with that too, so 3.9 GVM to carry a fair bit of extra weight. So sitting on the back, we've got a uh, Shannon's Engineering tray canopy setup. Um, included in that, we've got inbuilt battery under the tray, which powers up, uh, which you can use as auxiliary for anything really when the canopy's off. So the canopy's a jack off sort of setup. So you can get to camp, get it off, and then still have access to the vehicle. Uh, the canopy's also got two batteries inbuilt, so you're not gonna lose power with whatever setup you have inside the canopy. Um, lights in built into the canopy, compressor under the under the tray, which you can also use to pump up the airbag, so airing up and down tires and bags also. Um, rear ladder at the back, so if a rooftop tent goes on the roof, got access to that. So along with the uh, J-Max kit, the standard exhaust won't fit around it, so we, uh, we get the torque at three and a half inch exhaust with that system, um, and also we've got the X-Bar on the back, so no tow bar from standard. Thank you, Toyota. So the X-Bars comes with three recovery points um, and rated to tow three and a half ton. So under the hood, uh, we've had a bit of a change. We took the car first to complete tuning. So we had an upgraded clutch put in this thing um, to handle the torque increase. And we've added a catch can and a tune. Um, yep, and what else have we got under the hood? Yeah, just the, just the air box in conjunction with the snorkel. Yeah, I can get a shot that breathe a bit better. So there you have it guys, this builds on these two cars have been going on for a couple of months now. Thanks to Zach at Zero Gauge Customs and everyone else that's had their hands on these. We've put over $100,000 worth of accessories on this thing and someone can win it for just as little as $30. So hit that link, purchase a package and your name could go in the barrel and we could be giving you a call to let you know that you've just won one of these cars. First prize, second prize, good luck.